Today we have the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Collaboration Camera Bag. We got the bag here in all its glory. Absolutely beautiful piece. This is not going to be for um, the weekend warrior or you know, someone that's faint to heart at price tags. This is a $700 bag. Um, I'm going to break down, show you guys why exactly it is $700 and all the ins and outs of it. So um, before we even get inside the bag, we're going to talk about the, the straps, how padded they are, uncomfortable they are. We got the logos here. We got all extra back support and all kinds of uh, padding back here. So you can haul heavy, heavy amounts of gear and be good, you know, for the whole day. We got a side strap here for your laptop. Try and get into this a little bit. So you can throw your laptop back here. Right here we got some uh, a side access door so you can get to your camera. Uh, instead of having to open up the whole bag, which I'll show you guys how to do that eventually as well. On this side, we have... Um, all these little mounts here so you can clip shit onto it. Very tactical style bag. Um, over here we got like a little water. You know, they say water bottle bullshit. You know, I throw my tripod in here. Simple as that. On here we got the nice waist straps. Again, padded. This is removable, which is super nice. I don't like anything around my waist, so this is the first thing that comes off uh, this type of bag. And then we have the straps to go across um, for the two armbands, which is nice. Right here on the top is the, how to access the actual bag. We're not gonna go into there just yet. We have this little uh, security strap here. So you can run the, um, you know, run this little tag piece through here. So it gives it a little added uh, security. You know, it is what it is. We got this in here. So, on the inside here, we have a magnetic portion, uh, so you can put like your wallet, passport, all that bullshit, and try and show you guys on the inside of here. So you see, fly the flag, very, very nice, that's his logo, the whole um, fly the flag kit and all the shit that he sells. So you can see here, here's the magnetic portion, magnetic bag part of it, and then that just snaps in as you can hear it. Also on the front here. We have more tie down straps, you know, whatever you want to loop on here, whatnot. Um, I might even consider putting my tripod on the front here and getting some kind of strapping material. They do have some included, we'll get to that, and um, you guys can take that from there. You have side handle, top handle, uh, another side handle up here, and another bottom handle. This bag overall is 22 inches tall. It's 13 and a half inches wide and nine inches deep. So it's the carry-on size for airports. You can bring it in, put it on the overhead compartment or on the seat. You go with that, which is the number one reason why I purchased this bag. You gotta open this bag up from the back portion, which is awesome. Nobody can get in here and steal your shit without you knowing about it because you physically have to take the bag off to actually uh, get to your camera stuff. So I showed you the laptop portion. Up here, um, this opens up, you have another flap down in here. So I throw my iPad in here if I'm going to take that with me. Camera pack in here, we're just going to put this out. We'll run through all the accessories after. Here's the um, strapping I was telling you about. If you want to add shit to the outside of the bag, you have that option as well. Here's the inside of the bag, very nice. Every single one of these straps and pads and whatnot, every single one of them is removable. So you have like this size, um, plenty of extra padding to set it up however you want. So this is not how it came, this is how I personally set it up. I have the big space for the camera bag in the back. I have room for all my lenses, an 18 to 135. I got a 50 mil in here. I got um, a 70 to 300. Um, I also have all of my chargers. So I keep, this is for the camera itself. I have um, extra USB dongles. This is all in that skinny portion. And then this is for my lighting. So I'm not, I don't have the lighting obviously in the bag now. I don't even have the camera in the bag right now either because I'm shooting on it. But all my lighting will fit in here. Um, I have mini tripods and mini lights and all that shit. 
That all goes in the bag on my main white lighting over here. These, I have some super clamps in here. I usually keep about one or two of them on me at all times. Here's the accessory bag. So when you get the ultimate camera bundle, again, it's for, um, for the price for 600, for $700, $675, I should be more exact. Uh, you get all these pieces together. If you want to purchase this separately, this piece is $50. So this is nice. It has the handle here. I throw it in my main bag. I pull it out. I keep all my GoPro shit in here. So right now, not every piece that I own is in here. You can't fit everything, but it's fantastic for all the little odds and ends. So I got my charger wires and actually here's my uh, SD card in the case here, but uh, usually I keep it in the big one. So I have a little um, uh, wall charger, GoPro charger with two batteries already in it. So it makes it almost like a nice little case. Um, I can throw that right into this little corner. So I got my GoPro in here, fits perfectly. Again, all these foam uh, all came with this and they're all interchangeable and movable. Here's a little Joby uh, suction cup mount and I have my chest mount uh, wedged in here as well. Very nice. As I know if I'm gonna use my GoPro, everything's in here. I pull the bag, if I don't need it, I pull it out and lighten my bag up. This is an extra couple pounds that I don't need to be lugging around with me if I don't need it. Here is the Q. Obviously brand new. I haven't used this. It's taking up a lot of space in here right now. Um, I don't plan on taking this um, as the whole kit for like a daily run. But when I do go on longer trips, I will have this uh, nice tucked away in here. And uh, that's going to be perfect once I get to where I'm going. I can pull this out and just um, have that ready to go. So again, this is when you have your, the big bag, the main bag going. And you get to where you're going. You... Um, you can throw your camera in here and take it with you. Uh, it gives you all the added protection and even more foam inserts. I've not used this one yet, obviously. But what's amazing about this bag is the other zipper. You pull it out, you open this up, and it now becomes a backpack. Very nice. So that's why I said you can take it with you. When you go, you throw a couple things in here, your everyday shit, and you still have your camera with you. So very nice. Just take this, fold it all right back up, zip it, and you can throw it right back in your regular bag. So this has the same waterproof material that's on it. The top is a little different material. So I actually bought this on his Kickstarter. And with the Kickstarter, you get this piece. Um, if you back the Kickstarter program, whatever the fuck it is, um, this is basically a rain cover for the bag. So when you, in addition to um, the waterproofing, that the bag comes with. This is another cover if you're really out there camping or whatever story is, you need that added protection, you got this free. Um, this was actually 30 bucks. Um, all of these things you still can purchase individually. You go on Pneumatics, uh, Nomadics website and you can purchase everything. So we're going through the prices. So the main bag was 400, the Q pack is 125. This is the, they call it the Rain Fly. This is $30. I'm gonna go to another product I don't use, but I, got in addition to this is the uh, uh, lens filter bag so you see here you got a little pouch on the side and you store all your lens filters I do not have any yet um, hopefully down the road I will eventually buy some I'm looking actually into the uh, McKinnon you just came out with the new VPN filter or whatever. I'm thinking about buying that. So if you want to grab this one, this is uh, $40 separately. So now something that I do use every day, this is the uh, battery case. So these are magnetic. I got all my batteries. They just pop right in. Um, what I do like about these is that they came with um, little stickers. The nice little added touches, so I put them on all my batteries. You know, it's good because if you go out and you're with three or four other people that have camera setups or same exact setup or anything like that you can put these little stickers on and be able to easily identify um, your stuff from everyone else's so uh, again magnetic clip very nice I use this literally every day even if I'm not carrying um, my main bag I just store my batteries here keep it next to my charger for my camera that I'm shooting on so if you want to purchase this one individually it's thirty dollars so now we're shooting to the uh, the memory card holder same thing magnetic very nice. Another zipper portion here. So you got your um, CFast cards, SD cards, which is pretty much all I use, and more. So you can put six SD cards in here. That's pretty much 
the hole inside of the main bag portion. Um, we have the pass through here, which I forgot to mention. Super nice bag, it's waterproof, extremely durable. The material is just top notch. The zippers are unbelievable. All the zippers have the little strings on the end of it. It's just absolutely phenomenal. It's definitely worth the money. You have another grab handle here, so you can actually pull open the bag once you unzip it. Again, it opens from the back. So in addition to all that, um, I run, like I said, with all my lighting and everything, everything has chargers. The Canon charger for the batteries, the extra batteries, the batteries and the chargers for the lights, um, the stands. All that shit fits in my bag and I take it and I go. So yeah, like I said guys, this is not a, um, a bag for the beginner. Um, I understand a lot of people are not going to go out and spend this kind of money. Um, I bought this on the Kickstarter for $510. So it was a better deal than obviously what it is retail right now. If you go on their website right now at the shooting of this video, they have it on sale for $575. So they take $100 off the price if you go on there right now. Um, I'm not sponsored by them. I have no affiliation with them. I'm not getting paid for this review or nothing like that. I'm uh, just trying to help you guys out. If you did were interested in get, buying this, you can get a little cheaper uh, right now. Definitely the quality of everything that comes with it is just outstanding. I have not used any bags like this. I used uh, Case Logic, and I mean, I had maybe three or four different bags that I've actually had to travel with. Majority of them were like the soft type bags, and again, they work. They held all the shit. You know, I've had bags. My most expensive bag to this was uh, 100 and about 20 dollars, I believe. And again, it held all my shit. It did what I needed to do, but I needed a little bit bigger of a bag because I'm gradually gaining more camera gear as the years go on. We all know how that works. And I also wanted a bag that I can take with me. So to find something that, okay, maybe you don't need the accessory bag and all that stuff. You just throw your GoPro shit or if you don't even have that GoPro or drone stuff, throw that all into the bag and mumble jumble mess. I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to keep everything organized in individual packs. So again, GoPro stuff, I need a GoPro, I pull this. Um, hopefully, maybe down the line I'll get a drone. I can throw some drone shit in there. Um, you know, maybe in the cube pack, that's a good idea. And then just pull that stuff out when I'm on the go. But to buy, you're not finding any bag out there that you can put like clothing and everything else in one bag and just take it with you and go. So are you going to go on vacation for a week with this bag? Maybe, um, you might be able to, but it's more of like the three to five day trip bag. Uh, for me anyway, I do take a lot of day trip or two day trips where I just want to take one bag with me and have everything that I need. So a couple of outfits, um, all my camera shit and just grab it and go and not have to worry about lugging two bags around and all that stuff. So if you really wanted to get down and add up all the prices, look at your luggage bag. I'm sure most of you have paid seven, eight, nine hundred bucks on a full luggage set or even if you want to go the cheaper route, pay three or four hundred bucks for a luggage bag and um, you know, and for an individual bag, probably 200, you know, camera bag, maybe another hundred, 150 bucks on the lower end. You know, you're looking at like 350 bucks, 400 bucks more or less. And you start to lug around two bags. I didn't want to do that. I just, like I said, one central bag for majority of my shit for up to five days. I'm good to go. That's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, throw them down in the comments. Uh, I look through every single comment and reply back. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we have videos coming out. And um, we appreciate you viewing. Take care.